right, good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Right, we're going walkabout through the through the camp here at Satara. But we're first swinging past the loo and then we'll go. Mm, okay. The boss, the loo, the loo, the loo, <laughs> the shower, the shower. The basin, the basin, the basin. Don't forget the blower thing that I can't stand. Oh yes, L let's show you the blower. Uh, oh, here it is, here it is. <gasps> it's unplugged. Oh, the blower's unplugged. Yeah, at Satora they go unplugged. <laughs> Which is a good thing because there's paper towel. I like paper towel. It's mm. much better. Much yes, better. Yeah. More hygienic too, actually. Yes, yeah. Because these things, these things, when when, when the what's this, the stuff called air? <laughs> the air. When the air comes down and it blows down onto the floor where all the old dead skin is, and then vroom, it comes up and it lands on your hand. And then you walk out here mm -hmm. with everybody else's skin in the camp. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and here is the more hygienic paper towel. So, sorry for those who are a bit squeamish, but that's what happens. Okay, yes. now we need to go and then we can go. <laughs> yes, I'm going. Are you going? I'm good going. You go going. <laughs> so something I must just quickly tell you while we're in the toilets, is that the whole time we've been here in Kruger, the toilet paper, oh, has been bad. So I don't know who tended for toilet paper, but I mean, here it is, look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm, can you see me? Can you see me through the toilet paper? I'm sure you can see me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> because, I mean, it's so thin. You have to use like 67 kilometers of the stuff, you know, when you go to the toilet. But anyway, there we go. Now I've said my piece, so, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, and some uh, washing machines. One out of order, one in order. And they're right on the fence, so you can come and sit on that little bench over there and watch the animals if they come past while you're doing your washing. For those of you who are interested, here's the kitchen. Stove, wash up, burn. Let's go and look I'm at... I'm sick of the toilets. Yeah, I know, this whole toilet business is just boring. Yeah. Always nice to take a swing through the park and then you can do some uh, gadget shopping or window shopping, you know, see all the different caravans and trailers and tents, what's new on the market, what's retro, what's, yes, and then engage in some hideous envy and then go back to your own one. <laughs> yes, I mean, you know, isn't that the point of window shopping? <laughs> There's the fence. There's nothing near the fence now. No. Hmm. There's a big elephant with huge tusks here on the fence just in front of the restaurant. There he is. I think you'll be able to see him. Are we going to walk back now? Yes, we're walking back now. It's hot now. Right, we're back after walkabout. And Lenny's going to get cool drink. You nearly gave me a fit now. We were right. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was a monkey. Monkeys are attacking. <laughs> no, not yet. 
Actually, no, Sitara's been good for monkeys. Here's some water. Oh, okay. And then, I suppose, drive or, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hello again. We are now driving. We're riding along the S100 now, which is the famous road where you're always supposed to see lions. So we're going to try and see if we see lions. Oh, is it on? Yes! <laughs> oh, hello. We are going back to camp now. We did a big circle and we saw lions on the S100, so it delivered. But now we had a little bit of water to drink with, you know, bultong and stuff for lunch. And now we have to go back to camp for tea because we're so hungry now. Oh! It feels like my stomach is eating itself. So. We're yeah. on our way back. I think I'm going to faint. I have to concentrate, not the faint of hunger. Oh. Okay, so we made it back just in time before we died of hunger. <laughs> yes, now we're having buns with cheese and peanut butter and marmite. Mm. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm gonna have my bun now. Oh, it was in the nick of time, otherwise. Oh, gone, passed away. Mmm. Mmm. Just off toast. <laughs> you know, if you want a toasted salmi, you just leave it out in the sun. Mm -hmm. Then it melts your cheese and it's all nice and toasty. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Sun's going down on our last night at Satara. And we're going to go and have something at the restaurant. Yes. Oh, it's a bit dark. You can't even see my little pot. But it's a venison hot pot. Oh, there we go. On mash. Mm. Yeah, you can't really see. What have you got? Yes, um, yeah, I'm from I the, have yes. a, what is called a sirloin nevada, which is a sirloin steak with avo and bacon and crunchy onions and uh, camembert cheese on top. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Good morning from Satara and you can see I've got rings under my eyes well I feel like I've got rings under my eyes oh, because what a storm last night my goodness I've never experienced rain like that in my life I thought we were going to wash away we had to come and sit in Hamilton and the tent leaked a little bit not too bad I thought it would be worse but it was okay my word and now we are packing up and we're leaving Satoro and we're going down to Bergendal today. It's going to be our last day in Kruger. And yeah, uh, I think it's time to leave. <laughs> what do you say, Lynn? Yes. Um, no, it's not a very nice farewell because everything is wet now. And full of mud. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And full of mud. Yeah. So we're going to try to sort of like give it a wipe here and there, 
mm. and try and sort out things and just hope and pray that it does not rain again tonight in Bergendal. So I guess we will see you on the road somewhere. And I said, I'm not stopping for anything other than a cat. But I think I might revise it. I don't think I want to stop for anything. <laughs> Bye. We're in the toolbox. And that's never good. Okay, so where... Oh yeah, I'm looking for the duct tape. Universal sealant, in other words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because... Now I need a scissors. Because we discovered this morning that the canopy window was standing way open. It rained yep. in last night with a storm, so I closed it. But mm -hmm. we've discovered now that the top screw is stripped and the whole unit, the whole clip unit, doesn't clip anymore. So now we're going to tape it closed. Yes. Um, so that it doesn't open if it rains again, then hopefully that'll work. So I'm going to get a scissors. Duct tape and we're going to get a piece and we're going to tape that. Now my jammies are going to get all dirty. Ah, well. Should actually climb in. Yes, you should actually climb in. Can you reach there? Yes. Okay, so it's on that side. So if we just pull, pull it, it across. It. There we go. Oh, I think I took a bit much. There we go. We've taped the window closed. So hold thumbs that, you know, it holds. But it should. It should, you know. This tape is fantastic. We can fix anything with it. Ha ha ha. Okay, so um, let's go and get done. Everything's broken and everything's wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's our MO. Yeah. You know? Okay, let's go and let's go and try and Yay. Whatever the the wet tent. Oh no. Oh, my jammies are dirty and wet. <sighs> oh. Okay. Come on, okay. let's go. Goodbye, Satara. Here we go. Bergendal. Here we come. Now that was off soul. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay, that was a bit disappointing. Mm. Very limited menu. There's like two or three yes. things that you can have. And... So we'll head further and eat our sweets. Health, 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 darling! <laughs> With sweets! <laughs> oh, absolutely, oh, yes. Man. If you'd had a muesli bar, you could go health, health, health. But now you've got a chocolate bar, so that's not exactly health, health, health. But anyway. Ha. Hello. We're back at Bergendal. Bergendal has got quite a, a, a very kind of restful feeling about it. Um, I'm not. <gasps> what happened? Did a bird get me again? A bird pooed on her earlier. Yeah, on this finger. Mm. So I'm waiting for my good luck to arrive. Yes, clearly it, it, the bird pooed too late to get us into the shade. Yeah, we went to this <coughs> nice shade. You can't believe it. We got here like, what, half past one? And it was such nice shade. And we had shade and shade and shade till like about half past three. And then all of a sudden, poof. Sun. Oh. So there you go. We're in the sun. Um, but, oh well, it's only for one night. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Are we going to go and drive? 
<laughs> I can't sit. I'm sorry, I have a problem. Yeah, no, this sitting business is no good. A person must move. You know, we're the type of people who travel. You know, we travel. We spend like one night, two nights at a place and travel, travel, travel. So this, you know, you know, staying in one place and, and what we call blocking, you know, blocking. So, so for four nights or something, you, blah, 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 blah. you don't do that, no. No, we don't do very well with that. We don't seem to do very well with that. Because I, I just get so intensely bored with myself. It's like I need to move. We've got to go somewhere, got to do something, got to keep moving. Maybe that's why things always keep going wrong. Because <laughs> then it keeps life interesting. <laughs> Yes, maybe. Anyway, we are going to go and drive now. Well, we didn't see anything on our little drive out, but we're back now and we're brying and the sun is just about setting on our last night in Kruger. Oh. Hello. We're having Bolivia's sausage. We're gonna make Budavos rolls. Ta da! <laughs> and so our Kruger mini series comes to an end. We hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. There's a bonus episode coming. And don't forget to visit our new online shop. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time, further down the road.